Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about principal disjunctive normal form. So in the previous class we discussed about disjunctive normal form which is nothing but sum of products. So here we will also discuss about principal disjunctive normal form. So what is principal disjunctive normal form? We already discussed about DNF, then what is the use of discussing PDNF? So PDNF means here it is a group of min terms. So what are min terms? So how we know that how many min terms we need? For example, if I have two propositions or two variables p and q, then I need 2 power n min terms. So here I have two variables, so 2 power 2 I will need 4 min terms. So what are they? 4 min terms and that too it's sum of products, right? So I need four products, right? The first one is P, Q. The first min term is P and Q. And second min term is P and negation Q. And the third min term is negation P and Q. And the fourth min term is negation P and negation Q. So these are the four min terms. Here, it should not miss any single literal, like it should cover all the variables. For example, if I have three variables P, Q, R. So total three variables, I should, I should have 2 power 3, 8 min terms. Okay, so first P and Q and R. First min term P and Q and negation R. Second min term P and negation Q and R. Third min term negation P and Q and R. Fourth min term next P and negation Q and negation R. Fifth min term negation P and Q and negation R. Sixth min term negation P and negation Q and R. Seventh min term and finally eighth min term we should have all negations. Negation P and negation Q and negation R. In this way depending upon the number of variables we will have the number of min terms. Okay. So here in order to solve PDNF, as I said, there are two methods to solve. The first method is with truth table. And second method is without truth table. Okay. So first we will see the rules of, uh, what are the rules? If we solve the method using a with the truth table, there are some rules for solving with the truth table. We will see the rules first. So if you see the rules here, first construct the truth table for the given formula. So they will give one statement formula, right? So first we should construct the truth table. For every truth value t in the truth table of the given formula, Select main term which also has value t for the same combination of truth value. Here in PDNF we should consider only the true values, not false values are considered. The true value combinations are finally treated as our min terms. The dissection of these min terms will be equivalent for the given formula. Okay. So if you see an example so that you will get a clear cut idea about what is PDNF. So obtain PDNF for P and Q or negation P and R or Q or R. See, first we should see how many number of variables we have. P, Q, P, R, Q, R. That means we have three variables. P, Q, R. That means we should have eight truth values. But if you see here, here I have P and Q. R is missing. 
P and R, Q is missing. Q and R, P is missing. So, in order to construct the truth table, we have rules, right? With that, anyhow, we will get the number of min terms. But whereas, if we solve without using truth table, here we have some missing values. So, we should construct those, uh, find out those missing values and we should uh, incorporate another method for that. That is, without truth table. We will see that next later on. Okay. Here, first we should construct the truth table. So, how many variables I have? 3. P, Q, R. Here, write min terms. So, true, 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 false, 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 false. True, true, false, false. True, true, false, false. True, false. True false, true false, true false. Okay, now I should write min terms. So P and Q and R. In the place of false, we we'll get negation. From that, it will be clear. So P and Q and R. P and Q and here you have false, right? So negation R. P and here I have false. Negation Q and R. Like that, write everything. P and negation Q and negation R. Negation P and Q and R. Negation P and Q and negation R. Negation P and negation Q and R. And finally, all false. So, negation P and negation Q and negation R. Okay. So, these are all min terms. Right? Okay, now I have P and Q, I should find out P and Q, negation P and R, so I should find out negation P also, and negation P and R, and finally Q and R, okay, so let it be X, let it be Y, let it be Z, finally X or Y or Z. Okay. Right. Now what is P and Q? So in P and Q Okay. This is P and Q. This is negation P, negation P and R, this is Q and R, this is X, this is Y, this is Z, X or Y or Z. Okay? Right. So, P and Q, true, 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 false, 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 false. If both are true, only true, remaining all cases false, we know that. Negation P. Negation P is exactly opposite. So here I have 4 trues, 4 false. I will get 4 false, 4 trues. Now negation P and R. This is negation P, this is R. Okay? So true false, false. False, false, false. True false, false. False, false, false. True, true, true. False, true, false. True, true, true. False, true, false. Okay? So negation P and R. Now Q and R. So Q and R, true, 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 false, 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 true, false, false, false. Okay? And finally, I have X, I have Y, I have Z. Now X or Y or Z. Okay? So true, so what is R? If any one is true, Remaining true. If all the three are false, it is false. Now let's check all three false. False, 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 I will get false. Okay. Uh, false, 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 I will get false. False, 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 I will get false. 
false, 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 I will get false. In the remaining all cases, I will get true. Okay? Now, as I said that in PDNM, we should consider only the truth values. Here in the given, in the final output I have, true, I am placing a tick mark, true, 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 true. Now what is there in front of this true? P and Q and R is one min term and this P and Q and negation are forget about false. Leave it, this one and this one leave it. Here I have true again. So negation P and Q and R and finally here I have true again. Negation P and Q, uh, negation P and negation Q and R. Consider only the truth values and the corresponding min terms. Okay. So what is my final uh, Okay, so what is my final outcome? The first truth value is P and Q and R. What is my second truth value? P and Q and negation R. What is my third truth value? Negation P and Q and R. And what is my final truth value? Negation P and negation Q and R. Okay. So, in between these, our is PDNF, place a R symbol. So, this is my final principal design to normal form. So, in PDNF, in min terms, the truth value corresponding min term will be considered. In PCNF, we will consider the false values. Clear? So, I hope you understood the uh, principal design to normal form. Okay, so in our next class we will discuss about uh, PCNF that is principal conjunct to normal form. Sorry, PDNF without truth table and next we will uh, construct PCNF with truth table and without truth table. The students who are watching my channel for the first time I request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well-wishers and please support our channel in all possible ways. Thank you, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.